Only on 12 tonight, nearly 10 years after professional golfer Payne Stewart died in a plane crash, an aerospace expert at ASU says most pilots do not get the critical training that could have prevented that crash. The federal investigation concluded that Stewart's private jet probably veered off course and crashed because of a gradual loss of cabin pressure that caused the flight crew to fall unconscious. ASU is one of the few places that pilots can learn how to recognize the signs of oxygen deprivation before it's too late. The airlines don't publicize it. Aerospace physiology instructor Ron Diedrich says a loss of cabin pressure happens more often than the flying public realizes, even though it is reported to the FAA. And it doesn't generally come out that it's happened, unless it's a high uh, visibility person like Payne Stewart. Jumping in a very light jet going up, I really think they really need this kind of training. Diedrichs now works with the high altitude chamber at ASU's Gateway Campus, where they can simulate the loss of cabin pressure. We talk about respiration and circulation so that you can... They put me through a short version of their one-day course that teaches pilots to recognize the signs of hypoxia, impairment from a lack of oxygen. The brain slows down. While I was inside with observers, Nat Daggs was outside of the control. This is where you're going to undergo the greatest pressure change all day. The chamber simulated increasing altitude. At 25,000 feet, I took off my mask. Some trainees pass out before they know what's happening. There's the symptoms that you're picking up now. That's what will save your life. After just 45 seconds, a simple math question was tough. How many six cent stamps in a dozen this time, Mark? Six cent stamps in a dozen? Yeah, how many six cent stamps in a dozen this time? Two. Any pain? Do you have any pain? Does anything hurt? No pain. Just tunnel vision. Three minutes in, I tried matching objects of different shapes with holes they fit in. Three took a little, little while to find that one, right? At five and a half minutes. Are you hypoxic right now? I think so. Could you, if you were a pilot, do you think you could fly an aircraft right now? The slow uh, decompression we went through, the symptoms came on very subtly. But if I had gone long enough without my mask at 15,000, the effects would have been the same, but it might have been too late. That's why Diedrich says commercial pilots need this kind of training. And if they knew some of the risks, maybe they'd have a little more appreciation and be a little more cautious. And that's why I say I'm selling life insurance. Now, the FAA requires all pilots who fly above 25,000 feet to have hypoxia training, but it only recommends that they go through altitude chamber training, noting that very few chambers actually exist in the U.S. The FAA says incidents where loss of cabin pressure actually causes hypoxia are extremely rare. You can see more of what it's like in the altitude chamber and even learn a better way for air travelers to deal with those ear-popping incidents that happen. You can log on to 12news.azcentral.com. Okay, can I ask you a question? Sure. Could you tell as you were going uh, along that you were getting worse, or did it take to the very end before you were like, oh, wow? No, this no, is you, you can definitely feel it creeping in. First of all, you don't feel great when you're not getting oxygen. Uh -huh. your, your, your body gets cold. Uh, your fingers feel very heavy and clumsy, and, you know, you, you realize you're, you, you know, it's sort of that distant voice where it uh -huh. should be, we're right next to each other. Right. The voice is kind of very much in the distant you're, you all of your senses start fading out wow so it's not it's not a pleasant experience yeah. jimmy two words I, I, barf bag yeah that's what i'm saying i see he's, he's giving me the symptoms i'm like i'm feeling i'm getting it right now and when i come back i want to know how many six cent stamps in a dozen you know? yeah. let me work on that it's fast so you kind of you know it's pretty good 73 degrees outside right now and we have calm conditions let's check the winds across